Afternoon, everybody. Hope you guys are enjoying the great weather. Cleveland is God's country, as we talk about all the time. Um, coming off a tough loss, you know, last weekend, uh, you know, a game that we felt like, you know, uh, we went down to the wire, and you know, hopefully, we hoped obviously that we had won that game, and you know, we did some really good things on special teams. But to be quite honest, at the end of the game, we need to finish. Um, we didn't have the kickoff return we needed to set up the offense on that last drive, and we didn't have the punt we needed to set up the defense on their on their last drive. So. It was disappointing in that regard, but we did do some good things. Uh, we played physical. We played fast. Our kickoff team was outstanding. Uh, and I told our guys this week, we need to take that physicality, that effort, that energy from kickoff and then, you know, continue that. And a lot of the same guys continue that with all the phases. And, um, you know, our field goal team did a great job as well as, as well as Chase. But at the end of the day, we need to do a great job in all six phases to be at a good football team like Arizona because they're really good, as we know, offensively and defensively, and they're very good on special teams. They're well coached. They have those, you know, the veteran, as you guys know, the veteran specialist, and they got a, an outstanding rookie return on Rondale Moore, who I think is outstanding. He's a really good football player. Really liked him coming out of Purdue last year. Coming into the season, you talked about Jamie really needing to be a weapon. Yeah. Guys. Um, and with the offense being what it is, mm -hmm. he, he's not going to get a lot of opportunities, which obviously it's a good thing from the, from the team standpoint. Right, point. absolutely. But just in those situations where you need the big one from him or you need the directional just – how does he kind of clean that stuff up so you get what you need? You know, when you need it. you're exactly right, and he knows that. Um, he had a great punt, remember, against Houston, and he had a nice punt against Minnesota at the end of the game. Uh, we call an angle punt. I think we explained that after that game, getting it out of bounds so we don't give their return an opportunity for a big play. Um, but he needs to be more consistent. You know, he knows that. That's what we're working towards. Uh, we've worked on some technique issues, but quite frankly, it's it's for him. He's just got to go out and relax and do his job. and. It was funny, we, had, we uh, had a conversation on uh, Tuesday evening, you know, by te via text, which I'm not very good at, as uh, most people can attest to, but um, then we came back and had a similar conversation yesterday morning, and he went out and had his best practice he's had all year, including training camp, so I was excited about that yesterday, and again, I don't know what the weather's going to be like Sunday, but for him, it shouldn't matter, because he's strong enough to punt in any type of weather. So what do you I mean? Can you look at something technique-wise that's affecting him, or, or what is it? Sometimes. You know, he uh, every now and then he might get wide with his base, or he'll take a jab step when he normally doesn't, and that throws off the timing. And any young punter, he's got to clean that stuff up. That's why, you know, you guys see us on the, the low jugs all the time. We do line drills uh, back and forth, you know, with the, the center, you know, you know, flips him the ball, and he does uh, line drills to keep his hips tight to make his footwork good, and he works on his drop constantly. So it is little things that, you know, it's, it's tough to be a consistent punter. And we, we really see that around the league. I mean, you know, you know, Andy Lee's coming into town. He's a phenomenal punter, I think. And, you know, he'll, he'll hit a line drive punt, and the next one will be a five-second hang time. So it's, you know, there are a lot of inconsistencies. And I think the consistent punters are the guys like Andy that stick around the longest, and that's where Jamie's got to get to. I think that first uh, punt opportunity is still in his head. In I don't think so. City. No, I don't think so. He's a pretty mentally tough kid. I think, you know, it's uh, – you know, it's funny because Andy had one of those on Sunday. Uh, Andy Lee he dropped it, picked it up, and punted it 57 yards. So it's, um, you know, you learn from it and you move on. I think he's learned from it, and I think he's moved on. That's a good question. How about that double punt uh, in the Colts Monday night game? Did you see that? Or? The, 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 the Thursday night game. Did we, did we oh. talk about that last week? Is that the one you're talking about that was blocked? No. Yeah, but I, I think it was after we talked. I think it was Thursday night. Oh, um, the, it was Seattle's punter, right? right. You talking oh, about? That's right. That's right. Yeah, that was funny. We had when I was coaching at Youngstown, we uh, we blocked a punt, and um, their punter went back 30 yards, and punter out raced everybody to it, turned around and punted it again. And since that was 1997, so since then I knew it was possible. Uh, you just don't see it very often. It's the first time in 20 years in the NFL that I've seen it. It was a great play by that kid. My question about. Chase going back to the spring. Mm -hmm. Did you know of him? Did someone in the personnel department come and say, we think this guy's worth a look? Like, how, how did that go? We knew about him because um, I went and worked him out at Illinois uh, when he came out three years ago. And I knew he was good. He had a good college career. Um, I didn't think his leg was quite strong enough back then. He was somebody that instead of drafting, you know, we drafted Austin that year, uh, that somebody we could, we were interested in signing as a free agent. We didn't think he was draftable at the time. And, um, you know, he's gotten stronger. And then obviously he's always been on our list. And then when he, we had an opportunity for, you know, we had that workout, and he came in and had a really good workout, and we signed him to the practice squad. Or I think, no, we signed him to compete against Cody, and, and he's done a nice job. He won the job, and, and so far, so good. Last weekend was probably one of the worst weekends for kickers. And I know. Isn't that crazy? History. Just 
I know you don't want, you can't watch everyone because you're focused on the Browns, but just what do you think is going on with the kickers this year? I don't know. That's that's a good question. Um, you know, pressure has always been good. I, I know, but I mean, pressure has been good every year. You know, from different teams. Um, I can't really explain it. I, I know the that the Cincinnati Green Bay game was insane. And I've been in one of those games before. When I was with the Vikings, we had a, a, you know Crosby and we had uh, Daniel, Car- Daniel Carlson. And uh, they both missed several down the stretch, including overtime. So it kind of reminded me of that game. It was a bad memory. We ended up tying that game. Um, but I, I can't put my finger on it. As long as our kicker's making kicks, that's all I really care about. Does Chase kick it, does Chase kick it a little more of a line drive than some guys do? A little bit, um, depending on you know uh, the situation and depending on how long the kick is. I kind of like that, especially in the dog pound end, because sometimes, you know, Cody hits such a pure ball, sometimes it would come up and then would just fade because of that wind. Um, Chase's ball should, if we protect it like we should, it should cut through a lot of that. Was there a ball that, one of those last kickoffs, it seemed like Anthony brought it out and he maybe shouldn't have, was there one? Yeah, there was one, uh, it was about four deep. We had him lined three deep. It was four deep, and that kid was pounding the ball. He had a big time. I think it was four three hang time. He should have kept that one in, or just let it hit the hit the end okay. zone for a touchback. You touch guys back. have gotten really good at kicking that ball to basically to the goal line. I mean, mm-hmm. Is that is that the idea? By design, to put them hundred percent. Yep. Because we're the other day we had four tackles inside the twenty, yeah. and I think the best field position they had after a return was the eighteen yard line, and that's really sets our defense up for you know good field position, and that's what we're looking for there. It seems like the Cardinals are the exact opposite because Prater's like. Some They've had three returns against them, yeah. which is crazy because this hang time has been really good, and they they really cover kickoffs well. Uh, Coach Rogers does a great job there with all their phases, but their kickoff team the last several years they got players. They got 51, 45s come back off of IR, uh, 47. Um, they have a lot of guys that can fly down. So we'll see what happens on Sunday. I know you've talked about using Anthony as a kickoff returner for a while. You like this skill set. Um, I guess what made the decision finally a couple weeks ago say? Yes, give him a shot, and then how do you think he's looking? Well, we had the, the two indoor games in a row, and, and Coach and I, head coach and I talked about when we wanted to use him because he had you know, never done it before, and so he's been a work in progress since May. Um, that first game, he just had the one return and got hit in the knee and that kind of took him out being cautious. And then last week, you know, other than the decision to bring that one out that he probably shouldn't have, and that's a young player, um, uh, he's got to learn from that. But I think he did a really nice job. I mean, he made people miss. Um, he's got great speed. He, um, took a couple hits and kept rolling. So. Uh, broke some tackles, so I, I really like what I'm seeing from him so far. If the kicks, if the kickoff is short of the goal line, mm-hmm. you never want it to let it bounce and mm-hmm. hope it goes in, right? No. Or, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to err on the side of we're going to return it because we have a lot of confidence in our return game. Our guys should be blocking that up. Okay. Oh wait, MJ Stewart and Andy Janovich, those are two pretty key guys. Oh. Right. So how do you? Return? Yeah, I'm I'm sick. It happened during the game. And I never get mad at uh, trainers because they're just doing their job. But uh, <laughs> Gordon Williams, poor guy, he came over and told me MJ was out. And by then we had like three guys out. And um, I didn't get upset with him. Obviously I couldn't, but I wanted to. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. So this, that's, he's one of our top two, three guys. And uh, he's been good in the meetings. He helps guys. You know, we'll uh, have a different personal protector on our punt team. That's, you know, we'll prepare for that. And, um, you know, they, they pose a lot of challenges with their rush team and, and with that young returner back there, so that's going to be key. But missing MJ and Andy is going to hurt us. Well, and you yeah, have AJ, too, who has to play more on defense. Are you, yeah, no so doubt. Do you kind of get excited, though, when you see a guy that's been working so hard for you kind of get that opportunity? Oh, oh, 100%. Oh, I, in fact, I told Greedy Williams when he had his first pick uh, a couple weeks ago, and I told him in the special teams room, I said, uh, once he made that pick, I went, yeah, there's a core team. We're making a play. You know, it's kind of, <laughs> you know, because Greedy was not a core team his rookie year. And then, of course, last year he missed. But his attitude has been fantastic. I think we really got a great locker room. They've all bought in. Our head coach uh, really helps us with that, with the special teams. And our general manager, you know, Andrew brings in those right type of guys. So there's nobody that's off limits to our team and that help us on, team, on special teams. That really helps us.